Sam, can you just uh, update us? What was the injury that, that, that uh, prevented you from fighting last time? What are you working for, Eves? You're trying to <laughs> find, expose my weaknesses uh, here? I'm sure it's recovered. No, I have. Uh, I had a, a partial tear on my tricep tendon, and uh, you know it was it was bothering me for a while, and I just uh, felt like I wouldn't be able to perform at uh, you know my peak ability. It wasn't a full tear, but um, I wanted to rehab it and be 100% for this fight, and uh, now I am. And what was your thought about fighting Eve? Obviously, a great name, a very experienced. Um, you know, Eve Edwards is. Um, somebody I've been watching since I first got into the sport. He's, uh, you know, a veteran. He's been in, in there forever, so I'm sure he's got a few tricks up his sleeve so I, that i got to be careful of. And uh, very well-rounded. Um, matches up uh, very similarly to me stylistically, so um, it should make for an interesting fight. So we're coming off, what, three fight of the nights in a row now? Uh, I didn't get one on the last one. It was the three before that. So uh, talk about the, the expectation level. I mean, it seems like every time you're in there, it's, it's a great fight. Um, you know, I don't really worry about it. It's not something that, you know, I feel added pressure with. Um, you know, I, that's just how I, I just go out and I bring, a, I bring it when I fight. So, um, you know, it's not something that's in my head when I'm in there, but it's, it's not so much that, I, well, that's not, that's not completely true. I, I don't think about the bonus, but I think about putting on an entertaining show. It's something that I pride myself on and I want to do every time I get in there. How about fighting here in Canada? It seems like every time there's a Canadian car, we expect you to see on it. Is, that st is it still something special to you? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, especially it's my first time coming out to fight in Vancouver since, uh, you know, I, I fought a Thai boxing tournament back here back in the day. But um, it's a great city. I love it here. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to be a part of this card. And, uh, you know, anytime UFC comes to Canada, I'm, I'm you know, extra, extra excited to be on the card. Sam, can you tell us what you did with some of the bonuses? You, you, you bought a driveway, didn't you, for your? I bought, I bought my dad a driveway for Father's Day last year. I think I'm this, this year I'm going to get him a win against Eve Edwards. <laughs> um, but yeah, I bought, I put a down payment on a house. I, I uh, bought a car outright, so I'm not making payments on it. And uh, you know, I'm, I, I haven't done anything too exciting. Had a little bit of fun with it here and there, but uh, no, no crazy, crazy purchases or anything. Um, I'm, I've, I've always been the type of guy I'd rather have a, a big bank account than lots of toys. Did, did Hominick, he fought Edwards, correct? Uh, did yep. He, he, he back I, into the U.S. Canada, did he give you any pointers? Um, you know, he gave ago. me some words of encouragement. Um, he feels that, yeah, he, fought, he fought Eves uh, in his UFC debut. It was the same night as my UFC debut at uh, UFC 58. And um, yeah, Mark gave me some words of encouragement. He, he, he feels that, uh, you know, Eve Edwards isn't going to be as strong as me. He's not going to be able to, to uh, you know, to really hurt me. And uh, you know, I've gone up against some of, the, you know, some of the hardest punchers in the division. And I don't think I think Eve Edwards is a very technically sound guy, but I don't think he's a big power puncher, which, you know, um, I think gives me a little opportunity to really go out there and, and uh, you know, go shot for shot with them and and uh, see what happens. Sam, your division obviously is probably one of the most stacked in the UFC, and, and there's a lot of names being thrown around in that title picture, but yours doesn't seem to be one that's mentioned very frequently. Do you feel like that's that, that it should be, or do you feel like um, you got a way to go? You know, I, I still think I have a little bit of a ways to go. Um, I've been, you know, I have a 50-50, like a 500 record in the UFC. It's not, it's not stellar, um, and I think another reason I don't get mentioned in those title contentions is, or for title contention is, uh, the fact that I haven't I haven't been finishing a lot of fights, any fights in the UFC. So um, you know, my first goal, my goal in this fight is to go out and try and do that. You know, I'm not going to force anything. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to take any unnecessary risks. But um, yeah, I think a, a decisive win at, uh, against Eve Edwards will put me in the right direction for, for to have people talking about that. For so would, you, would you take a first round knockout over another three round split decision fight of the night? Hell yeah. Visit El Octagono for all the latest in MMA, news, fight results, interviews, live event coverage, podcast, and video capsules. All this and much more in Spanish. Find all your MMA needs here inside El Octagono, the number one source dedicated 100% to MMA in Spanish. El Octagono.com